and good morning. It's another wonderful Wednesday morning. Can't wait to start the show. Didn't you mean wet one Wednesday morning? Yes, I did. But I just, just didn't like want to it, start. It the rained show like that. and then it rained. <laughs> and it rained again. And then it rained. Like it rained like three times during the night. Like it rained. <laughs> You were actually counting? I was asleep. I don't know why you were counting. No, I like the rain kept waking me up. Like I kept wondering, like after an hour, if the rain hadn't stopped. It like, feels like he just wants to get a lot off his chest. You know, maybe the dry <laughs> season is rushing in. Yeah. But it's time for us to start another exciting episode of the best day to ever hit your TV screens at this hour. It's called Wake Up Nigeria. Mm -hmm. My name is Titi Laya Owens. And I'm Yomi Okwe. It's a morning for copious amounts of coffee. I like, <laughs> I like it when we use big English. My coffee is on So grab yours and sit tight. We're mm. about to have an amazing time right here on the show. Yes, indeed. We're coming to you live from our studios at TVC Communications right here in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And we're live online at tvcontinental.tv. And also on Facebook as well. You can check us out at TVC Connect if you uh, need to get out. Get out now yes, because indeed. the roads are busy. They're really, really busy right now. <laughs> and uh, be careful when you drive throughout today. Really, Please, really important. take care on the roads. A lot of crazy potholes showing up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, we take breakfast very seriously. It's the most important meal of the day, as they say. We have Chef Shebio Timo. Shebio right. Timo. You sped through it. Why? Shebio Timo. Like, I got it right today. Sheb Shebio it's Shebio Timo. Timo. Okay. Speeding. Right. Speeding through. Yeah. Yeah. I got it correctly. I'm <laughs> All right, how are you guys doing? Good morning. It's such a pleasure to have Shibu Timo join us this morning. I love her smell. Oh, mm, thank you. Isn't this radiating? <laughs> very nice, thank very you. nice. Something to put a smile on your face. We like before. it, we like yeah. it, especially when it's when it's cold today. Mm -hmm. wow, Something warm in the kitchen? Hopefully. Yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> you know what they say, like weather for two. Uh, okay. <laughs> for husband and wife, yes. is what I meant. <laughs> wow. All right, <laughs> let's go to this morning's highlights. Musicians BNG will uh, bring us that uh, feel good Wednesday effect this morning uh, with a performance that will definitely resonate with you. Styling tips coming to you from Ekemini Udo. She'll be showing us how to achieve the goddess braid updo with super soft braids. Can't wait to see that. MM will be uh, talking with Dr. Lawson on posturing for sleeping mm -hmm. uh, for optimal health. Really, really important the way you sleep. Mm -hmm. And most people have experienced some kind of heartache at one point or another. Priscilla will be here to talk to anyone struggling with a failed relationship and how to move past it. Yes, as we said last week, we need to move on. <laughs> now, snails are a delicacy and they can be very expensive. We have the CEO of Arapel Agro Farms Limited, Henry Etine, joining us to show us how to cultivate them for personal and commercial purposes. <laughs> Then the Limpopo master himself will be around for a chat and to have some fun. All right. So, um, red, red, red. I, I don't know how that happens. We sometimes I think... A little bit of red. Reddish. Yeah. It's like a tannish, <laughs> orangey red orangey thing going red. on. No, 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 no. Really? It's, it's tawny. Red tawny. Reddish. So tawny. Let's, let's each wow. be a little bit far. Yeah, tawny. Tawny is, tawny is a red. All right. So um, <laughs> I wanted to give a big shout out to my husband. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike Michael Koche, for some of you who, who don't know him, he's on uh, TVC News. Yes. Well, uh, you didn't have to put that out there, but it's all right. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of him. Well, He's one of cool. our. It would have been nice if you had come to Cast News today. You know? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe later I'll tell IQ. No, IQ do a substitution for the second half. Yeah, mm. maybe. I we woke up this morning, <laughs> and luckily Elsie woke up at the same time we woke up, and we just did a little, you know, birthday rendition for him, like, Aww. "Hey, happy Father's Day! It's your first birthday as a father." Yeah. Aww. 
and I just want to wish him all the love and all the best. He's such an amazing husband, and I love him very much. Oh, we're starting off on a mushy note yeah, today. Yeah, right? Very good. Very <laughs> mushy, nice mushy, mushy. Nice. So are you going to cook pepper soup for him, or what are you going to cook for him? Today? Well, the surprise is later. I don't want to dish it out before someone hears, and they go sell him later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know small job is confirmed today. Small no, job. it's not. Really? <laughs> this watch today? No. For the whole building. <laughs> no. no. Okay. okay, for some select few. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, for only you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, there should be small. It's, I mean, come on. There, there is a good reason to have small chops. Mm. Very good reason. Very good reason. But imagine forgetting your husband's birthday, your partner's hey, birthday. Don't that do that too. Yeah, that, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> it does? Like, <laughs> yummy? <laughs> yummy? <laughs> yummy? Oh, no, happen. no. It's you probably know. never happened to me. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, I forgot in the morning. In the morning, <laughs> and so I'd already. In the afternoon. Yeah, I remembered in the afternoon, but so I, I made things right okay. by the end of the day. Good. Yeah. People forget that it's not a do or die. People actually do forget. Um, that word and do or die. You're not no married worries. yet, so you won't understand. Married. Exactly. Yeah, you're not married. <laughs> what? Why? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you this is discriminatory. <laughs> Remember, uh, this, they, they, uh, they, uh, they are. In fact, the words I'm trying to formulate now, they're, they're, not, they're not yet coming. But come on. <laughs> It's about forget. We've seen issues don't like that. Look, don't take, too, don't take it too. Don't take it too serious. Okay, what do you want? Don't forget. do it. How you doing, people? My name is D E E K A Y. You already know. Today, I'm going to be showing you the kind of exercise you're going to do to actually eliminate the side fat. Because most of us, you know, we find it difficult to actually work on our side program. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to be doing a little bit about it. So first of all, even if you're in your home, in the office, anywhere you are, you can actually do this. So first of all, we try to go side and count like 10, 20, or 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You can actually go the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. You can actually go down. As you take your side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can actually take it up, then sweep your hand, and then go again. One, two, three. Then you can actually switch it together. One, two, three, four, and five. To make it more effective, you can actually move it with your legs. You can go one, two, three four and five. Go with the other leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you can actually make it faster. One, two, go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can punch it out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Punch it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. To make it more effective, you can swing it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Your shoulder now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it down. Now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Take your two hands, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now raise your leg up with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your shoulder again with your leg. Now go. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Swing your leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then push it out. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. Stretch it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it side side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it down and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Punch it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your shoulder now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. One, two, three, four, and five. I hope you enjoyed yourself. My name is still D-E-E-K-A-Y. Till I come your way next time. All right, it's always a pleasure to have DK, the fitness trainer in the studio with us. Good morning, people. How are we doing? Welcome to the kitchen. And of course, I'm here with Chef She Beauty Mo. Did I stress on that Mo? <laughs> Enough for you. All right, great stuff. So this morning on the show, in the kitchen, we'll be making something pretty exciting, something very different, right? Yes. All right, so what are we making? We are making special yam. Yes, that's with what she calls it, special fried, fried yam. yam. Yeah. With fish sauce. Okay, so the trick to the yam, I know some of you are asking, what's so special about frying yam? Well. What's special about this kind of yam that we're going to be making frying up this morning? Uh, they're in letters. Yes, people. We are eating. Sorry, I'm not going to pick that up anymore. We are going to be eating yam in alphabets. So we have different alphabets here. Well, she's going to tell us later how she achieved that. Um, but let's move over to our ingredients for our sauce. Yes. So what are the ingredients? Let's talk yes, about that. This is our pepe. Okay. Grated pepe. Yeah. So is it just pepper? Yes. Tomatoes, tomatoes onions, rodo, pepper, okay. and chill pepper. Okay. Yes, for All the right. sauce pepper. Okay. And then I see um, some seasonings yes. here. Yes, this is the seasoning to add to it. And this is crayfish, cinnamon, and salt. Wow. We're adding cinnamon to that. Yes. Interesting. I never knew you could actually add cinnamon yes, to yeah, cinnamon the is tomato good. sauce. Yes, yeah, very good because mm. it's healthy. To take yeah, I know cinnamon is very so healthy. So you can use it for any kind of cooking. Okay. It makes your food comes very nice. I can't wait to taste that cinnamon in our food. Yeah. Great stuff. I know we use cinnamon for baking, but I never thought we could it's put it in like our... like a flavor. You can use it to do any of your cooking. Okay. And then I see that we have fish here. Yes, that's, it. that's our fish that we're going to use to spice it. Okay. That's why it's called fish sauce. Okay. So it's basically a very easy, simple recipe yeah. for those of us who like to eat heavy. Because, I mean, yam is pretty heavy eating it in the morning. That means if you're not going for swallow. <laughs> so some of us are like our malas in the morning. Yeah. So yams is another um, healthy option, yeah, for morning. Yeah, it's for very those good. Like to eat heavy. And then we have our fish sauce. And I'm using titus because titus is very good. Yes. The oil in titus is healthy for the body all right it's good to eat it it might be locally it's called. not local <laughs> some people don't like it's it it's affordable we love it yes. we like our fish that's like what that. i'm using all right titles. we'll be right back for more on wake up nigeria stay with us Welcome back. And I've got BNG, an acronym for Brand New Generation, made up of Nusa and Daru. Who's Nusa? Who's Daru? Guess. Uh, <laughs> looks like Nusa. <laughs> yeah. like I look like a Nusa. I look like a Nusa, really. Yeah, Nusa. Wow, okay. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, Daru, this looks like a Yoruba demon. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Blood of Jesus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know. Um, I know. Actually, of course. I know. So you were right. You yeah. Were right. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, of course, their brand or what they represent is God using a peculiar brand of people to do something in this generation. Yes, now, let's sir. enjoy this performance from them, guys. Are you ready? We, yep. We're good. We're good. We're good. Take it away. Many, many things you did do, they remind me, say. You dance our prayers. 
You the answer prayers. You the answer prayers. It's PNG. Black jersey on the beat. Guys are you guys <laughs> okay? You so, so, more many of you now. I know, you 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 were three. There was this song, then that, that you know, people now God, that was the song. Oh, yeah. man. oh, my oh man, that was the song, right? <laughs> you guys were three, yes, yes, yeah, yes, you're not this fat yes. now. You guys, <laughs> you're not this fat. That's like I was, I was in school then. That's yeah. like saying I don't know how old yeah. I am. Yeah. That, 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 that was 1990s, 2000s then, that and all song, of that. That song so, is as old as BNG. Like, as old as BNG. You know, and yeah. then there was uh, dance groups in schools, mm -hmm. gospel dance groups. Everybody had the choreography, a routine to that song, and all of that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you guys were three then. Well, what's the third member? Yes. Uh, well, the third member 
is doing his thing now. Okay. I mean, but okay. He's, he's good. You know, he's We're our brother. Family. He's our big brother. Oh, okay. You know, he's, yeah, he's, he's just, our big yeah, brother. He's so doing his thing now. Yeah, he's but doing his thing. Right. Cool. Yeah. Will there be a remix of that song at any time? Hmm. Because hmm. <laughs> never say never. Who knows? Yes. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we might just. We might All right, just. Right. Cool. So, but what's new from BNG? What should people out there look forward to or look for for going forward? Okay, we've been working. Um, okay. We've been doing a lot of work. Um, Nosa. <laughs> yes. Um, just yes. Okay. recently started producing music, so we, we okay. are producing a whole lot more than we're producing yeah. now. So um, okay. um, there's an album in the works. Mm -hmm. It right. might just be out this year. Yeah, definitely. Okay. definitely. Well, was definitely. there a break from you guys from music, or was music always there all this while? Well, music has always been part of what we do, but. You know, um, will I say fortunately or unfortunately now, we are also into video production. So some mm. people know us as music video directors, you know, so when they see the music side, they're like, um, yeah, why okay. are you doing this? But you know we, we've been yeah, doing music sure, yeah. sure, You sure. know, so I mean, it's juggling the two sometimes can sometimes be challenging, can, you yeah. know, so, but I mean, we, we, we are grateful to God to, for the talent and for the opportunity to, you know, my brother, this is Nigeria. You have to have, this you is have Nigeria. to have to, <laughs> you have to, have to work. <laughs> your, your night job and your money job. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, so, Thank you yeah, so much, yeah. guys. Wishing Thank you the so best. Much, I'm looking man. forward to that album. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very definitely. much. Looking forward Thank to you. bigger Thank hits you, and more hits. Yes, Thank sir. you. All right, let's head to the kitchen. And, man, what do you have for us? All right. Thank you very much, Mike. Beautiful performance there by B and G. Really enjoyed every bit of it. All right, we're here in the kitchen with Shebi Otsima. And we are making something very interesting in a different kind of special way. Yeah. Are you yes. agree with me, Shibi Timo? Yes, no. You are eating your lens. <laughs> All right, yes. Eating your so, lens. Yes. So we are making a special kind of yam with fish sauce. And then, um, Shibi Timo, let's run through the um, ingredients for the fish sauce quickly. Yes. Our tomato, onions, yeah. chili pepper, popular known as rodo. Okay. Then our spice. Cinnamon, so salt, and... Crayfish. Yeah. So we added cinnamon to our fish Ginger. sauce. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I w it's all, it's ready here. Mm -hmm. So the kind of fish we use, we actually use Titus fish. Titus fish. Yeah. And um, right now we're actually frying up our yam. So I know you guys are wondering, special kind of yam, really? Yes. And Shiro Timo is going to take us through how she was able to create le alphabet letters from our yam. Interesting. All right. So how did you achieve this? Yes. This is what I use. Okay. Yes. So let, we need to see this. People yes. really need to take a look at this. Okay. So let's display this here. So, so are these easy to find? Very, everywhere. You okay. can get it where they are selling catering things. Okay. Yes. To cut letters. This is my letter. Okay. A. So tell, um, show us I'm how you achieved that. I'm actually cutting something out of this. Okay. I've done this. I'm doing... Oh, yes. So this morning on the show, she's actually creating Wake Up Nigeria Wake with up. alphabet Simon. yams. Yes. Mm. Oh, interesting. Wake so we've fried up this ones already. Yes. And please, when doing this, make sure your hands are mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. clean. Yeah. Because we're, we're doing this in... in a, in a highly hygienic environment. <laughs> All right. Wake okay. up, Nigeria. So I'm guessing the N and the I G E R is still Nigeria. coming up. Okay. Great stuff. Okay. So we'll have to put it this way when you're done so yes. that um, we can capture every bit of this. Yep. Let's do this quickly. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to help you with the rest. Nigeria. Okay, so our E, R. Yes, so Nigeria. Yes. I really hope I know it's for Nigeria. <laughs> that is okay, it. fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to put it this way so that we can all see what Shibutimo has made here. So she decided to surprise us on the show this morning by creating Wake Up Nigeria in alphabet letters, yams. <laughs> A special kind of yam this morning, which I'm pretty liking. It's quite interesting. You can actually make this when one is celebrating their birthday. Exactly, yeah. gifts at events, you to, know, to write their names. To write their names. Um, I think I'm going to try, try this because today is my husband's birthday. Oh, God. So um, I think I'm just going to try this out. So I have to go to the store and try to get these alphabet letters exactly. and create my own we'll happy this. birthday. Exactly. Honey. 
Yeah, very <laughs> right. good one. <laughs> All right. We do so, this at event, an event to write their names, okay. any of kind. Wow. Yes. So mm -hmm. let's see how you created this with the alphabet. After cutting the yam, yeah. the yam has to be flat. Flat. Okay. Not too thick. Okay. So this can cut Going. it. Okay. Yes. Oh, so you have to press that really hard. You have to hard. press it. And then if you like, you could also make them pretty thinner. Yeah, exactly. Right? So yes. that it's easier it to... It just depends on the kind of yam. Mm. You do, like now that we have new yam, mm. it's good for you. To, it it can, it's oh, very yeah. easy to, to... Because the yams will be soft. Soft, yes. By the time you, it's, yam is out of town, you might not be able to get it right mm. because it will be thicker. The yam will be as dry. Yes, it will be dry. So you, won't be able, so, yeah. you might not be able to get it. You will get it, but it will be... Like so rough. Okay. Because uh -huh. okay. Yes. So it's easier. I mean, this is like the best time to work with yams. Yam. To create this with kind of yams we have right now because they're pretty new yams. So I'm just going to check out the other letters, alphabet letters that we have, <laughs> which is to fry it up here. So just in case you're just tuning in, guys, we are making a special kind of yam Look with at this. fish sauce. Oh, that's really nice. So cre create my name now, MM. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you have all the letters, basically, so why not create my name? I'm here with you in the kitchen, you know? I, I so, let, so I'm just going to be eating my own special kind of yam, yam. this morning. <laughs> right? Okay. So did you um, spice up the yam? Yes, with salt. Yeah, with just salt. Yes. All right. Great. So like I said earlier, guys, our, our breakfast this morning mm. is so easy, you know, simple and quick to go. All right, so we are heading on over to a quick break. There's more on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. Hello and welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. I'm here with Ekemeni Udo and we're about to find out how she puts together the goddess braid updo. It's time for hair DIY. So ladies, take note. And uh, maybe uh, we should go over what we have here on display. First of all, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Yes, so um, today I'm going to teach you how to switch from a simple goddess braid style to an elegant goddess braid updo. Okay. It looks really nice and it's very easy to achieve. To make this style, I have my bobby pins, I have sectioning clips, I have some elastic band fabric coated ones, and then I have my braiding hair extension. I actually used um, super soft braid from Darling to create this look. The goddess braid is very, very easy. First of all, you need to create two feeding cone rows on both sides. You can do a side parting or a center parting. For my beautiful model here, a center parting is very flattering for her face shape. So I had to create a center parting, fit in cone rolls on both sides. And that's why we have this beautiful goddess braid. So right now, let's switch it up to an updo. Okay. So what's the first thing you're going to pick up from your kit here? I'm going to pick up my braided pony. Okay. This. A ponytail? Yeah. You braided this ahead of time? Sure, I braided this ahead of time and I used the super soft braid to create this. Okay. So I'll quickly attach this. I can see that there's a rubber band on it. Sure, I had to attach this so that it would be easy to tie it up with the hair to create a pony. Okay. Right above the nape. Okay. Go ahead. So we're going to tie that up quickly. Okay. Sorry, can I turn her just a little bit? Sure. so that the, everyone can see that's fantastic fine. great so i'm tying this up firmly mm. all right and then it's time for us to wrap it roll pin and tuck i'll go in a circular motion okay going round and round <laughs> it's very easy to do so i'll take this round and round then the bobby pin will do the magic. There you go. Thank you. So when I pin, I try to crisscross my pins this way. Like that? Yeah, just like okay. this. So I slide in the first one, and then the second one will have to cross the first pin. Over the first pin. In. Sure. So Does that make it more secure? That makes it more secure. Hmm. Very firm. 
I noticed that you wrapped it around the additional pony. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you didn't wrap the additional pony. It was so the ones that were there yeah, before. Yeah, it's step by step. I wrap this first and then I build it okay. over the initial one. So I take this round. Okay. Yeah, you can see we're already achieving a lot of volume there mm -hmm. and it's looking really nice. Okay. Yeah. All so right. we keep going round and round and round. Are we still using more bobby pins? Sure. As you wrap the hair around, you need pins to hold it firmly. So we keep going round and adding more pins. Hmm. You can actually use a thread and needle to create this look too. So instead of using your pins, you can also use your thread and needle to sew. Okay. Instead, that also holds it firmly. Okay. Now, while you're wrapping, ensure that it's balanced. You don't want one side looking bigger than one, so the hair has to look really balanced and nice. Okay. So All I right. keep going round. Okay. Yeah. Take around it round. Again. Round and round. <laughs> okay, so just keep going round keep and going round. Keep going round and then tucking your pins. Hide the ends of the hair well so that okay. the hair doesn't look tacky. You want it to look very, really smooth. Okay. So you're saying that in a, a matter of three, four minutes, you can achieve this up to? True. All right. It's very easy to achieve. And even if you're rushing to go to work, you can just, you know, switch your goddess braid to this style and you look elegant and beautiful for work. All right. So now this particular um, braid looks very, very lovely. The updo looks really great. Mm -hmm. And I have to say thank you so much to Ekemini for coming to show us how to get this done. Our model looks amazing. Let's turn her around just a little. Can you see what we're seeing? Fantastic. Wow. And that's the goddess <laughs> braid updo. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. All right. So moving on with the show, sleeping with the right posture is something a lot of us uh, kind of take for granted. You know, we have someone on standby with MM to show us exactly what to do. All right, thank you very much, Titi. All right, so last week we discussed sitting, what's the right sitting position? And today we are moving on to what is the right sleeping position? And having that discussion with us this morning is Dr. Law Singh. He's also gonna be giving us practical demonstration on how to sleep right. You're welcome, doctor. Good morning. All right, so let's get to it. What is the right sleep? Okay, so, so there are many of us who sleep with our heads down, like this, like with your side. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to laugh, right? Okay, so what is the right sleeping position, first of all? Okay, all right. Um, simple way to think about this, yeah. first of all, would be for you to get the proper mattress. So the mattress has to be firm. Okay. Not saggy, okay. so it has to actually support you. Not those ones that go like this. No, 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 no <laughs> that you, so it has to be firm, it has yeah. to take your, support you well. Okay. Then of course, the length of time that you spend sleeping also matters. So six to eight mm. hours is what is recommended. Okay, so it has to be, okay, I'm listening. So you have to sleep for the appropriate amount of time for you to maximize the posture. Okay. So now when we now get to the posture, what you need to realize is that everything you do has to do with aligning the spine. Okay. So, I mean, there, the jury is out on which would be the best position on your tummy or the side and stuff like that. So what I'll show you this morning yeah. is how to get you the best sleep at night, okay. best position. So. No. Because we all like to sleep well at night, so it, which oh, is very important. Very, very. Yes, no matter how short it is. <laughs> okay, so okay. let's get So the it. first first and preferred position. position usually would be for you to sleep on the side. Okay, so okay. we have our model here, Oinda. So do you mind sleeping on your side, please? Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, when you sleep, now this is not appropriate. Now, Oinda, can you come down a bit? Please, come down. Excellent. Now, the first thing is your pillow should be under your head and okay. neck, not under your shoulder. Oh. All right? All right. Now, and that will ensure that your spine is aligned. Okay. Okay. Now, the other thing you want to do is this is an acceptable position. But With you, your legs overlapping on exactly. each other. Exactly. Okay. But you do not want to be in this position. You don't want to be in the fetal Why? position, okay? Because this is not 
a comfortable position to maintain. It okay. puts a lot of strain on, on this. On your back. Exactly. Okay. So this comes like this. All right? Okay. However, yeah. if you've had back pain but, previously, okay. then what you can do is semi-flex and put a pillow in between your legs. Now, talking about a pillow in between your legs quickly, let's talk about pregnant women. Good. Because while I was, during, during my, while I was pregnant, I had issues sleeping. Yes. I was trying to find a comfortable position was pretty hard. Yes. So tell us, what's the perfect position for a pregnant woman? Now, again, one other thing to note is that when it's time to sleep, yeah. well, you must look for what makes you comfortable. Okay. So what I'm going to talk about now, the challenge with a pregnant woman would vary from each trimester. So in the first trimester, the tummy isn't that prominent. Okay. But by the time you get into the second and third, lying on your back is uncomfortable because of the pressure and things. So okay. the preferred position would be for you to also be on the side. Okay. Now, you can be in the left or the right, but most people say, okay, try and stay on the left. Okay. And then you can also prop up with pillows. Okay. So you can get so a pillow in front a pillow. Okay. And, and a pillow in between, in between your legs. to make it more comfortable. Okay. However, you should always remember that your comfort comes first. Mm. So in between, I mean, when you're not comfortable, you can adjust, but you should know that comfort comes first. Okay. So the mattress has to be firm. The pillow has to be the right size. Now, Talking about, yeah, let's talk about the pillow because Good. some of us, you know, have neck cramps from our Good. pillows. So what's the best specification when it comes to the kind of pillows you should use? Now, the thing is, for the pillow, yeah. for the pillow, it also varies on the position. Now, because you're like this, the yeah. pillow has to be thicker. Okay. Okay? Yeah. But when you're now lying, if you lie on your back, the pillow has That's to be slightly flat. flatter okay. than this. Thank you so much, Dr. Lawson. Interest, I'm so, I've learned a lot today, and I'm sure that our viewers have. Thanks for, so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you for having the me. The second half of the show is about to start off in a bit. Stay with us as Morning Wake Up Nigeria. Welcome back to your premier breakfast entertainment show. We have so much more for you on the show. Yes, the whole first hour was quite interesting. Yeah, quite a lot. That hair stuff it? was not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, not as, bad. as in the way the look just came together was just amazing. If you missed it, go online. We are online right now on tvcontinental.tv and of course on Facebook at TVC Connect. For comments, ensure you use our hashtag Wake up Nigeria. All right, so we're going straight to this morning's highlights. Uh, quite a number of things that are happening. Yeah. Uh, first, we're going to be dishing out um, some stuff on relationships. How best to move on after a breakup mm. or a heartbreak. How yeah. to deal with a heartbreak. I think that's better. I think I should be a consultant on that one, you know, from back in the day, really. <laughs> but uh, that's not all. MM will also be having a conversation and, of course, doing some practical uh, demonstration with Henry Etina, he's going to be showing us how to raise your own garden snails. Mm -hmm. And the Limpopo master, KC, will be here to teach us some dance moves as well as have a chat on the show. <laughs> <laughs> keep dancing, keep dancing, keep, keep doing dancing, the thing, really. yeah. Uh, I know that uh, Casey will be showing <laughs> us what to do much better later on. Welcome back. Now we want to discuss something. I uh, want to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, if you know what I mean. A heartbreak is something uh, people, I, I won't say everyone, will probably encounter at least one time in their lifetime. But dealing with it 
uh, is where we might all have um, issues because we might not know how to handle it or people handle it in different ways. Now, Priscilla is here to talk to us about how to deal with a heartbreak. Uh, she's a mental health expert and also um, talks to us about relationships and, and other things that uh, we deal with on a daily basis. Good to have you join us again. Good morning, Yomi. All right, so last week we talked about online dating. Oh, yes. So now uh, they've been dating for a week and now they've, they've broken up. <laughs> so. Um, what's the first thing mm. that usually goes through the mind of a person once um, there's a situation where there's a heartbreak? Um, first of all, it depends on the intensity of the relationship. Yeah. And it depends on how much emotional investment that um, the individual has made into the relationship. That determines the intensity of pain mm. or hurt or you know, um, resentment that the person feels towards uh, the other person. Mm. Um, however, I think it's important for people to realize that when we talk about moving on, moving on is not leaving a relationship. Right. Separation, uh, breaking up, it's not, it's, not, um, it's not the solution to a pain. Because the reason people break, on, break up most of the time is because the other person probably has wronged them or probably they have in, in reconcil irreconcilable differences mm -hmm. or uh, the fact that they feel they are not compatible yeah. in some... But mm -hmm. when people break up, one, part one party is left hurting. Or both parties sometimes. Or both parties mm -hmm. sometimes, depending on the reason for the breakup. Yeah. So uh, people think, oh, I'm going to dump him, I'm going to dump her, and then that's, that means that I get better. No. Yeah. The fact that you, because you have people who have been separated or uh, who've broken up for 10 years and are still nursing the heart yeah, of, yeah. of breaking up. Yeah, so that's why I want to talk to, um, talk to someone out there now who's um, maybe going through a heartbreak. Maybe it's been a week mm. or a month and they're depressed, they're angry, they're resentful, whatever it is. What would you say to such a person uh, if, they were, if they decided today that they're going to move on? Okay, so... Um, I like the word move on because um, when we say moving on, it means that I am open again to trust, mm. to love, to forgive. Now, that word seems overly used yeah. when we talk about forgiveness. You, you cannot move on without forgiving. And mm. what really is forgiving? Forgiving is your ability to see that you are doing it for you because of the life that you still have ahead of you. Mm. I usually you would use this example. Two people are dating. Two people are in a relationship. Um, one person chooses not to forgive the other mm. and gets stuck. Um, usually, when you see someone you're not in good relationship with, naturally your heart palpitates because mm. you're, not in, you're not in talking terms and all of that. Yeah. So that continues, you know, regularly. And then you begin to have physical symptoms, mm. you know, of that of emotional pain, yeah. right? So if anybody is probably going to develop high blood pressure, it's going to be you. If anybody is going to develop a stroke, it's going to be you. If anybody will die as a result of the complication, it's going to be you. But how about and you who, are the one who is hurt. How about people who, who say that they put in so much in the relationship? Like, you know, when you have a vested interest. Oh, right. Maybe you invested money, time, effort, emotions, a lot of things into this relationship and here is this other person, either the guy or the girl, walking away from this entire thing. So you put all your eggs in a basket, so to speak, and then this person is walking away. It's harder to forgive in that situation. Bad investment. That's the way we should just say it. Bad investment. Because life itself is a risk. And the fact that that has happened is not to mean that you know, there are no good things. In fact, you should see yourself that you're lucky to have found out on time mm. that this person is this way and this person is not deserving of this, uh, of this investment. Or sometimes it's not that the person is not deserving, but that the person is not in the right frame of mind to receive all that intensity that you're bringing into the relationship. Yeah. Sometimes they're even dealing with things that you cannot even uh, uh, understand. And I see that every relationship gives you an, uh, the ability to stretch more, to grow more, to become better. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that is just that relationship coming to play its part in your life by making you grow and stretch more. And we oftentimes say that when the mind is expanded to a level, it cannot go back to the original level that it was in. Right. So when you have been stretched, what happens is you get better, you get, you know, you, you get um, more stable and, you know, you get more emotionally mature. Yeah. So let's talk about, um, let's talk in practical terms. So on a daily basis, right. um, 
usually you, most people that, that I've spoken to would say it's uh, it's more intense when you wake up in the morning mm. because everything just comes flooding, flooding back, back, all the memories, everything. So how do I deal with these things on a daily basis uh, for the next few weeks, the next few months, uh, and even years? The first thing to do is to look through that relationship and say, what have I gained? It cannot always be that bad. A lot of times we box everything and say, oh, bad relationship. But no, that's not a healthy way to go about it. Mm. You must compartmentalize what area of this relationship was fantastic. And yeah. I'm choosing to hold on to that. What were the things I did? Because you cannot be the victim all of the time, irrespective of how we went down. You have a contribution to it. Yeah. What are the things I have learned from this relationship? What are the things I'm choosing to, you know, take on with me that I would not repeat in my next relationship mm -hmm. and all of that? So. To, to, to get better, to deal with it every day, is to pick up positive learnings mm. from what you have taken from that relationship and choose, okay, to be the better for it and not the worse for it. So that when the person sees you two months down the line, three months down the line, he's not going to be saying, oh, thank God I dumped him or thank God I dumped her. Exactly. Okay, so I, I like that. So let's then, we're talking about moving on. So on a daily basis, you're dealing with your own personal self and all of that. Getting to trust again, mm. getting to love again, getting to... Um, go into another relationship or, or something else, how do you then begin to engage and, and begin to let down your guard? Okay, um, first of all, letting down your guard means that you have believed that love truly still does exist. Mm -hmm. You have also believed that there are people worth your time, your love, your energy. That believing, first of all, is the way to go. Because if you're not able to believe, then it becomes difficult because your perception will determine your behavior. Mm. So if you perceive that love still truly does exist, then you move on. Trusting again, when you believe That's that... That's more difficult, though, oh, especially if, if something has happened It's more repeated. difficult when you, cl when you say to yourself that there's nobody to be trusted. Mm. That's why I said the window is, first of all, believing that trust people who are, who are deserving of your trust still does exist, or people who are deserving of your love still does exist. Mm. So when you believe that, then it gives you the, a window of opportunity to open up your mind a bit, all right? And then you continue to test the waters. You then begin to learn. When, when I talked about learning from your mistakes initially, mm -hmm. that was what I meant. So when you say, okay, was it that we moved on too fast? Was it that we skipped the level? Like I said, the last time, relationships are, you, you move from unknown to known. Mm. An acquaintance, you move to friendship then we begin to know one another. Yeah. Then we begin to date. The fact that we're dating is not to mean that we're in an intimate relationship, right. meaning that I can date as many people as I can, mm. okay, just to be able to know them better. Mm. But a lot of times we skip that level, we move from friendship in, into a relationship. Right. But we move from acquaintance to relationship. So you, so you, you can avoid some, some of these pitfalls. We can avoid these pitfalls because we're not, are we moving gradually? Did we rush things too fast? Mm. Were there signs that I neglected from the beginning? So loving again or trusting again gives you the opportunity to sit back, introspect and reflect to saying, okay, how did I miss the steps? How did I not see the danger signs? Was it that I allowed my emotion to, over, to override my reasoning? Mm. What you, it's very important for you to sit and retrospect and you would find out totally that you ignored certain signs right. or you chose to overlook certain signs. Things you thought were not significant, then it means that they became significant. Right. Okay, so now um, there's somebody watching right now and maybe the heartbreak or the breakup hit them really, really hard hmm. and it's caused depression. Hmm. which can be, you know, so maybe they're now stuck at home, they don't get out of bed, and they're just eating and eating and eating and eating. What would you say to such a person? And I know that that happens more with women and with girls mm. than with men. I know that men also get heartbreak, heartbroken. Right. But if, if you were talking to someone like that, what would you say? Okay, so first of all, I, I want to take out the word depression. Let's... Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to take that because that, that's an, another, you know, box. Another level, yes, yeah. Yes, because... A lot of people have self-labeled themselves depressed. When depression takes some, you know, professional uh, diagnosis. Yeah. Now, let's say they, they then begin to continually feel sad. Yeah. That's 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 more like it. Mm -hmm. um, being in, in tune with your emotion is a skill. Knowing exactly that this is how I feel, mm. and this is what I think is the reason for how I feel. 
Now, I said that the way you perceive things would determine the way you react. So your perception of things would determine your perception of something would determine your interpretation of it. Mm. And your interpretation of it, so if you misinterpret it, you will misbehave. Right. right. You get it? Mm -hmm. So um Getting out of that quagmire of deep or intense sadness is saying to yourself that, oh, the reason I feel this way is because I believe that this is the best thing that's happened to me and I am not deserving of anything better. Right. But when right. you see yourself deserving of something better still coming along the way, there's going to be a ray of hope mm. that, oh my goodness, somebody who is more deserving, somebody, and somebody, somebody that I would also treat better and I would also go in with the right frame of mind, being more, is it that, okay, we didn't have some form of mental compatibility, mm -hmm. then I want to upscale to say, okay, I'm going to work better. Is it that I, I have not acquired some level of emotional stability yeah. and mental resilience? You know, you, all of those dynamics, you then say to yourself, it's usually about me. Nobody, okay, is responsible for leaving you in that state. Mm. You give them the power to keep you in that state. Wow. I would also want to round up by saying that for everything you feel, it, it requires your permission. Everything you feel requires your permission. If you feel sad, you have given the permission for that emotion to come in. Yeah. Every time you make that decision about a choice, that you, about something you want to feel, you have the window of opportunity to say, no, I'm not going to feel that way, or I'm going to feel this way. Wow, thank you so much, uh, Priscilla. I know that a lot of people have learned so much from uh, this heartbreak discussion that we had this morning. Yeah. And uh, I hope you get better, whoever you are listening out there. Do you love snails? Well, we are heading to the garden now where uh, MM is on standby right now to give us some details about um, creating snails for yourself at home. All right, interesting conversation there with Priscilla. Thank you very much, Yomi. All right, moving on to snail farming, which is becoming one of the most lucrative businesses right now. Joining us to enlighten us more on how to start a snail farming business is Harry Etine of Arapel Agro Limited. Hello. Thank you. Good well, morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks. A All right. So let's get straight into it. So here we have different kinds of snails. Yeah. I want to start a snail farm, snail farming business. How do I start? Okay. First, you you require knowledge. That's okay. the key. Okay. You get the knowledge, the proper knowledge. Afterwards, you get a space. You need a space, no matter how small it is. Okay. If you want to do small, we because we have different size. You have medium, large and small for home consumption. Okay. So you, you can actually do something like a cage system. Like What's an actually a, key system of a cage system, like a rack, oh, like okay. a deck. You okay. can have one deck, something like this. Okay. I have another one. You can actually grow snakes in that small quantity, but you may not be able to do well. Secondly, for the large, for the medium, you will need an intensive care system, okay. which works more better for us. Okay. So talking about intensive care system, which you suggest, which yeah. you just suggested is the yeah. best. How many snails do you start? Would you start with the snails, or do you go to purchase the eggs? How do you start with that, the farming? Okay. With intensive. the rearing. Okay. With intensive care system, you 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 have to get a breeders. The breeders are the ones laying eggs. Okay. They have to produce the eggs. After they produce the eggs, the eggs the gestation period is 22 days. After the eggs from the reproduction, you take it to the archery. You create an archery for them. Archery. Incubator. An incubator. What yeah. does an incubator look like? What In does this new incubator look like? Because okay. I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, you, the incubator you have, you have lumo soy, sandy loam, the black okay. eggs. Okay. You put the, the, the soy there. The soy has some properties that enables the eggs to hatch faster in 22 oh. days. Once you are through, once the egg, once the baby snails of the size mm. emerges. On the baby these snails. are called the juvenile yeah. snails, yeah? The, the ashlings. Okay, these are called hashlings. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, when these ashlings emerge, okay. you take it straight to the nursery. The nursery... Oh, there's a nursery? Yes. Okay, <laughs> so we really need to visit your farm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's a, you take it straight to the nursery. They will spend one, two months in the nursery. Afterwards, you take it straight to a green area where you have space to grow. After the green area, you have a fattening area, which can actually fatten them to get to the size of this yes in how many months in one year whoa <laughs> so this is how old this is one week old this is one week old, old yeah. and this is how old and that is one month old one month old yeah so this is one week this is one month yes ma'am okay and these are not, are this healthy to eat yes mm, some people do but it's not it's not the one okay. that is a bit early is we have this one that is five six months oh so 
So with this, we actually, we, like, like I was talking on the background, we actually ship 1,500 pieces to Lagos on a weekly basis. Wow. Let's talk about how they feed, because which is very important quickly. Okay. So how do you, how do you feed them? Okay, we have, we, we uh, uh, my company has a formulated feed. Okay. Uh, we produce commercial feed for, for companies. Okay, just in case you cannot reach out to your company. Yeah, okay. How easily, how can we get this, you know, what uh, the nutrients they need? Fine, you, know, you can get break. it from fruit and vegetables. Okay, great. If cucumber, carrot, cabbage, watermelon, spinach, and all that. Okay. They can do well with wow. that. Anyway, it's rainy season, what, and this is the best time of the year where they breed, Trust they me. thrive. Yeah, they produce thousands of eggs for you. Whoa, interesting. That would turn out to be money. Turn out to because I really got to monetize this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry, for so this much. interesting conversation yeah. here. I never ever thought I'd actually go into snow farming, wow. but now that you've enlightened me on it, I think I'm just going to consider it. Oh, you're welcome to the club. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Harry. You, Such a pleasure to have you. Yeah. All right. There's more on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. All right, welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. You are on to the best part of the show. We have a right here in the studio, Kingsley Chimweke Okonkwo, a.k.a. Okay, before I even go to that, the Limpopo master, <laughs> the Okpekete master himself in the house. It's Casey in the house. <laughs> it's great to have you, sir. Yo, you nice are welcome. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank great you, to have you. 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 look, You look wonderful, by the way, I mean. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, great. So, Casey, it's great to have you. You're very, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So, let's get straight to it and all of that. You have, you know... I, I, I feel you've, you've been there for a very long time. I, 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 I wouldn't be remiss if I say you are a legend of the music industry here in Nigeria. Sure. You know? And it's quite, it's quite a very, very, it's a, it's a, it's a sharp, I don't, how do I put it now, fast industry. Mm -hmm. Main things happen, go mm -hmm. and come and over. But you've always been the man with something new. <laughs> something, when people try to run you down and feel like, okay, hey, this guy doesn't have stuff, you always have something new. Let's talk about your newest stuff. Let's start with that. You have something with Whiskey, you released a video a few Yo. days back. Let's talk about that. Oh yeah, that's my recent work. Um, I released it about um, it's about six days now, mm. and it's doing over one point six million views already. And wow, on YouTube! Yeah, on Great YouTube, one. and it's amazing. And I love the fact that a lot of people are jumping on it. You know, so because it's not easy to do those good works. Uh, exactly. Now let's you know recently there was, a, there was some, someone spoke to an artist recently. I, I don't want to mention his name, but he said something. He said, "Now only go and give person hit song." Mm -hmm. Let's talk about making hits. When you are making a hit, I don't make, when you are making it, putting it together, writing and putting it, do you know that this particular song is going to be a hit or you just put something together and then if it becomes a hit, it becomes a hit? What's the process in like making a yeah. hit song? Well, the truth is there's no strategy or criteria to say, okay, this is a hit song, except when the song is out and everybody agrees that it's a hit song. That's mm. the way I look at it, because every song we record as creative people, as artists, we see them as all hit songs. That's why mm. we put in all our effort Indeed. and everything to make sure it comes out good. So every song we record to us is a hit song, mm. and we're giving our best to make sure it's everywhere. But sometimes when the songs come out, you know, that's when the masses with George. Yeah. If everybody's, if everybody's on everybody's it, on that's it. when it's a hit song as far as I'm concerned. When everybody's playing it, talking about it, that was make that song a hit song, so. You know, funny enough, of all your songs, eh, the one that gets to me, I had that song for a very, I've, I've had it in my place every time. Yeah. Oh, you know, Chuku. Oh, beautiful you song. You beautiful. Find your waist. That's a classic song. <laughs> That's a classic song. I, 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 I love that song. I love the video and all of that. Yeah. You know, it was a departure from the normal, you know, bing, 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 kind of, is that you? Is that Casey? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of me. You know, I have more of the high life feel and vibe in me. But, you know, the market sometimes doesn't give you room to express yourself. Sometimes they want to dance. Mm. Not sometimes, most times they want to dance. You know, so for me, I always focus on what brings in economy into my pocket. True that, true that. So, <laughs> true that. Now, I like let's to talk make about, yeah, dance. let's talk about dealing with controversy. Now, a number of artists, people coming up, do not understand how to manage or deal with controversy. Something that at times you might not want it, but then it comes with the terror. Sure, it comes. How have you been able to deal with the different various controversies that have come all through your career? Yeah, well, for me, I've been here for a while and I grew with it. You know, when I started, it was difficult. You mm. know, people said a lot of things about me, my former partner, were together, fresh, you know. A lot of controversies came up there. We were sad, sometimes we would cry, 
<laughs> you know, wow. so but we grew thick skin yeah. and experience, you know, in handling it. You know, trust me, we all have blood and we all have emotion. So exactly. sometimes this thing will get at you. But for me, I grew in it and I knew, okay, you don't need to pay attention to everything. You know, so that was how me I handled my own. For me, no matter what you say about me, I don't care. I, I mean, some people, some people go as I fast. I don't care. Some people go as fast talking about you not having talent. But he won a talent I won a talent hunt. That was how I came out. You know, you won <laughs> you a know. talent competition. You know, let, you know some people were not. Asha was also part of that competition. Sure. Um, clean the drunk and Negro. P Square. Yeah, no, no, P Square no, wasn't part of it. Wasn't they won it Benson was... and Hedges. Okay, they won Benson, exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, that a lot of uh, uh, this guy that does gospel, um, what's his name? Oh, Samsung. Yeah, Samsung uh, was there. A lot of them, the natives. And they won. Of... I wonder, I didn't, I was a talent or that. How do you talk about him not having talent? Okay, let's let's take a <laughs> peek at a little bit of a talent of Casey. <laughs> Now, I just, I, I want to take on something. There's quite an issue that's trending now. Um, uh, Osage, popularly, he put up something and he was talking about uh, Tenny and, you know, talking about music and looks. Yeah. And he said she didn't have the looks yeah. to succeed in music. What do you think about looks and music, about what he said and stuff like that? Yeah, well, for me, first of all, I think um, if I want to talk about that, I think, um, I don't know who Osage is. I just heard of him yesterday. And I think, um, if I want to be modest, I think he doesn't deserve to be talking about the entertainment mm. industry. He needs to go back to his village. Mm. Because you can't just wake up and start talking about people. Mm. You know, I felt sad when I saw that yesterday. Mm. You know, without taking side, I think a lot of people put in work in what they do. You can't just wake up and start calling people names sure. and using some harsh words. Even insulting somebody like Sonyare that I've been there for so long. I think he needs to apologize to everybody he's talked about. Mm. Tenny has, when I saw Tenny last year on social media, I posted her video on my page. I was like, this is a great talent. I posted it. I didn't know her. She got talent. I didn't even know she was related to uh, Niniola. No, she brought out her own talent. You know, the girl has talent. Her looks, yeah, music go with the looks. But sometimes, some musicians, we had Fat Joe, we had um, yeah, Rick Cross and all those guys. They were not all that, DJ maybe, Khalid. you know, they are making it so you don't de determine or, de uh, you know, have to say who's going to be up there. So I think he's wrong. He doesn't even need to talk about entertainment again. He needs to go and sell clothes or something. I'm telling you. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do it on, on a lighter note. Quick fire questions. I'll give you options. I just need an answer. I don't <clears> want to think about yeah, it. Yeah, come again now. Huh? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> eagle or lion? Lion. No, eagle, 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 eagle. Rihanna or Beyonce? <laughs> Baby one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Manchester or Baka? Ah, I like uh, Baka because that's very, they, they strike very, you know, Baka. Yeah, Baka. Baka. Baka, Baka. Or Robo or Lekpa? Ah. I'm in between. <laughs> <laughs> Android or iOS? Oh. Android. Night or day? Hmm. I make most of my income in the night, so I'll go with night. Okay. <laughs> favorite movie? Well, favorite movie. Don't think, don't think, don't think plenty. Okay, I shouldn't think plenty. Don't think okay, plenty. favorite movie? Uh, ah, I don't even know. I'm not a movie person. Okay, if you were a superhero, what would your powers be? I'd like to be disappearing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Listen, if you were to disappear, where would you want to go to on this earth that you've not been to yet? Oh! Bucket list. I'll just go to. <laughs> Maybe you know, somewhere you know, in you know, space. <laughs> somewhere in space. What's the most rewarding advice you've ever gotten from anybody? Believe in yourself. Wow, I like that. Believe in yourself. I just want to leave on that note. Believe in yourself. That is quite big. Okay, I'll just, this is the final one. Favorite food, because we're heading over to the kitchen now, <laughs> and we have something prepared for him. I know, I actually kind of know his favorite food, but then let's just put it out there. Favorite food, and then we head to the kitchen. Favorite food? Favorite food for me, I like, I like my native food, which is like my soup. 
<laughs> all those, <laughs> I all those native soup. But this morning, I can't do that early in the morning. Okay. All right, so let's head over to the kitchen. Myself and Casey will join them very soon. Eh. Uh, yeah, we'll join kitchen. them there. Yes, yes. We'll we'll join them there. Let's head over. Let's go, all yeah. right. We're we'll joining them right there. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen, Casey. Thank you. Oh, I'm excited. You, you guys are giving us Friday feels in the studio. Uh, uh, but it's Wednesday. I really wish it's we could. I really, I really hope we can do a video of the Limpopo dance later yes, on. Yes, who gets too. it best. Yes, <laughs> All right, so Chef Teshibio Timo has made something very delicious and spicy this morning. Um, Shibio you want to enlighten us briefly before we head on? I did wake up, Nigeria. Hashtag. Hashtag plantain. Fish spice. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. Oh, nice. sauce. With, um, and the spider yam. Yeah. This is a special yam. So this mm. for you. Special. Enjoy. Yes, that's so, for me. Yes. For the Limpopo yeah. master. <laughs> All right. So Wake this. up, breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please go ahead. Oh, Lord. While we try to do the name popo, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do yeah. Yeah. Let's go. 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 let us go yeah. Um, Dr. So Lawson, uh, the snail farmer. Yeah, Who else was Harry, here today? Priscilla was here. Priscilla. Priscilla. So many great And of course, the Limpopo master himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you yes. for joining yes. us. So, what do you think? What do the you think? hashtag is very sweet. And <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well done, well done. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, Thursday. Yes, indeed. 7 a.m., don't forget. Mwah. Right here on the show. We love you. Bye.